Paris Saint-Germain preparing here to be a part of the opening act of another major European club season. An epic tale lies ahead, a footballing drama to unwind over the course of the next 10 months. One where the central cast, both team and individual, will get to write their own story should they survive long enough. This episode one. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. So it's back, bigger and better than ever before. We hope everybody is ready for another ride on the emotional roller coaster. Bring it on, Peter. I'm looking forward to a competition that always delivers entertainment, whether through its football or indeed its supporting cast of, of emotions. Neither of these teams will want a, a trip back to the drawing board after this, so I think we can expect something quite lively. So we're up and running. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Marco Verratti. He's got great vision and passing ability and seems to be able to dictate the play in midfield. He also tends to develop a really good understanding with the forwards and just kind of senses the runs that they'll make. And I'm intrigued to see how he performs today. Yeah, still certainly be leaning heavily on him. Griezmann, Aguero, Roberto, Griezmann, a lengthy spell of possession but it was going nowhere. Throw in. That's a throw. Oh, real danger here. Loose ball. Who's going to get that? Neymar. Here it is now, surely. Roberto. Roberto drives it forward. Dembele takes the long option. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Barcelona are working the ball as only they can. Peter, and it's a style that requires players of high-caliber technique to move the ball about quickly in tight areas. It's Dembele. Verratti gets his foot in there. Aguero. Wijnaldum brings it forward Hakimi more than happy to take the muscular approach Roberto 
Well, we don't even need to look at the stats, do we, Peter? Zero attempts, zero goals, and uh, excitement, forget it. And he's away. Sergio Busquets. Aguero! And it's Roberto. Looking to go deep. Tries to dink it in. PK cuts it out. Oh, that's a waste. Neymar. Yeah, he's fouled him there. And it's Ferrati. Looks to thread it through. Jordi Alba gets it away. Goes for goal! He's pulled off a fine save. Well, as Tesco, Peter, the keeper, has just received an A-plus grade. could so easily have been different uh, that's a little unfortunate he had a lot of people worried then uh, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there oh uh, that just required a bit more oomph to reach its target good challenge he just stood firm De Jong, De Jong goes looking. Marquinhos plays a clever pass. Mbappe, he's had a shot! It's in! And grabbing that opening goal so close to half-time too affords them that extra little psychological edge. And once one of your main men that's doing the damage, it just grows the togetherness and it grows the spirit. Oh, it's lovely to see the art of disguise alive and well, but the keeper straight into no man's land. Broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trick. And the half-time whistle goes. So there you have it, a close walk half of football. It still had its moments, and ultimately produced just one goal. All the decent game up to it. Well, that certainly pleased the fans, and the players are definitely happy with that scoreline. The question is now, can they protect it? Paris Saint-Germain hit for the dressing room in possession of a 1-0 lead. And we are already promptly back on the way. Paris Saint-Germain carrying a one-goal lead. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Wijnaldum. Neymar. He's had a goal! Really well taken goal. And there's the goal they've been looking for. Paris Saint-Germain are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Things starting to look very comfortable. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Marco Verratti. 
And it's Messi. That's a good ball. Hits one! And more, and more, and more. And they are pulling clear here. without reply this is becoming a stroll well unsurprisingly Peter the opposition look completely stunned I'm not sure they can gather themselves he wasn't being fooled looks to clip it forward he's one on has a pop oh extraordinary yeah, they got away with it, but that was a, a defensive letdown to see him march through like that. Oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Feinaldum. Paris Saint-Germain have scored two quick goals here. Messi. Messi puts his foot on the gas. Busquets very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough. It's Aguero! Oh, taken with style. Rarely outwitted one on one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Well, how's that for composure, Peter? You can see the keeper tried to put as much pressure on him by staying upright, but it didn't phase him, not in the slightest. Barcelona give themselves a fighting chance, back in with a shout. Jordi Alba, forward it goes, gets the better of his man, De Jong tried to play it through. Ah, uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Marco Verratti finds him... That's surely a foul, free kick. <laughs> Messi. And that has been clubbed away. Marco Verratti. Feinaldum. Dembele. And the counter-attack is on for Barcelona. Roberto plays it forward. He's got away. That intervention was very necessary. Idrissa Gay. Messi, a scorer already in the game. Hakimi. Loses his balance and loses the ball. Griezmann provides an outlet. And that was asking just too much of him. He ran himself into trouble there, free kick given away.
Sergio Ramos. De Jong. He goes long. And he's there to cut it out. PK. Jordi Alba. Just brushed off the ball there. He's got it on the right now. What's on? He's picked him out. Now it's Messi. Now. Hoists it forward. And it's Bernat. Messi. Ter Stegen deals with it effortlessly. Confirmation that there will be four minutes stoppage time. Coutinho is onto it and can take it up. He's got through. Aguero. And the ball's come out and the shot! It's off target and by quite a way. And that's that. Paris Saint-Germain off to an ideal start. Three points on day one. Goes well for the campaign ahead. Would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Well, pressure can quickly build.